somewhere beyond the edge of our solar system, farther than any human hand has ever reached. Voyager 2 is silently gliding through the interstellar void. But what it just sent back isn't just another measurement or signal echoing into deep space, it's an image. A final image. And what that image revealed is so unexpected, so perfectly structured, so out of place in the infinite randomness of the cosmos, that it sent shockwaves through the deepest corners of the scientific community. An anomaly geometric, intelligent looking, disturbingly deliberate captured, not by accident, but by a probe powered by plutonium and guided by commands typed decades ago. But how is it possible that this ancient machine, older than the modern internet itself, has now become the messenger of something that may not be natural at all? Was Voyager 2 followed? Did it cross into a region where physics itself behaves differently? Or has it stumbled upon something that was never meant to be seen? This isn't a coincidence. This is a warning signetched in mathematics, woven in light, encoded in the final frames of Voyager 2's journey. And if you think the universe is empty, think again. When Voyager 2 launched in 1977, it carried with it humanity's most optimistic gesture, a golden disc filled with greetings, music, and sounds of Earth a time capsule aimed at whoever or whatever might find it. That was the message, or so we thought. But nearly 50 years later, what Voyager 2 has returned with suggests something even more chilling. The reply. The image retrieved from Voyager's final data burst wasn't supposed to be possible, not with its failing cameras. Not at this distance. And yet, when analyzed using a quantum AI system designed to scan for patterns invisible to the human eye, it revealed a structure, not a star, not a planet, not dust or plasma, but a lattice. Precise, symmetrical, and persistent across multiple frames. It's the kind of order that defies randomness and whispers of design. But here's what's worse, it remained fixed in relative position to the spacecraft, as if orbiting it or tracking it. Scientists at NASA were quick to rule out hardware failure. The anomaly wasn't just seen in one camera. It was present in multiple instruments, layered across different wavelengths and time intervals. The structure, when mapped, showed repeating Fibonacci ratios and prime number spacings a signature so profoundly mathematical that one physicist described it as the universe winking at us with code. But structures like this don't exist in deep space, especially not ones that seem to adapt that's right, when Voyager's sensors actively scanned, the anomaly changed slightly, as if responding to being observed. This behavior is reminiscent of the observer effect in quantum mechanics, but not at the atomic scale. This was kilometers wide. How can a structure react to observation unless it's aware? And if it's aware, it might not be natural. It might be artificial. Or worse it, might be alive. To understand what Voyager 2 might have encountered, we must accept an unsettling truth. The edge of our solar system isn't just a boundary of particles and plasma. It's a transitiona region where the very fabric of space begins to mutate. According to quantum gravity theorists, space-time beyond the heliopause could allow phenomena we've never modeled. Think of it as the cosmic twilight zone where the rules written in Einstein's language begin to blur and bend into quantum dialects. The structure captured in Voyager's image fits no known model of interstellar matter. It reflects no light but absorbs specific frequencies. It casts no shadow but disrupts magnetic fields. It might not be part of our dimension at all. Some suggest what Voyager saw could be a projection a higher dimensional object intersecting with our space. In simpler terms, a shadow from another universe. Now following a machine we built in the 1970s with technology less advanced than a modern calculator. It wasn't just the shape. When quantum AI parsed the data, it uncovered something buried deep in the anomaly's transmission patterns. Sequences. Not just any sequences, but prime numbers 
Fibonacci spirals, and geometric symmetries that mirrored the exact mathematical language used on the Voyager Golden Record. The patterns lined up with Earth's attempt to define universal matha Rosetta Stone for alien minds. But here's the terrifying twist. The response wasn't just similar, it was mirroring. It was as if something out there had not only received our message but understood it, and replied using the same language, encoded in a structure only detectable by the very AI we just developed, not decades ago, not five years ago, now. As if whatever's out there was waiting for us to get smart enough to hear it. While the public was offered vague statements about unusual data artifacts, something very different was unfolding behind NASA's sealed conference rooms. Leaked internal emails revealed that top-level scientists were instructed not to speak to the press about the image or the mirrored patterns it contained. A rapid shift in communication protocols followed. Voyager's data streams were rerouted, mirrored into private quantum computing labs, and heavily encrypted. Why? Because the implications were too destabilizing, not just for physics but for geopolitics, religion, and science itself. One anonymous systems engineer described the internal atmosphere as identical to a Cold War alert, not from fear of destruction, but fear of contact. Because if Voyager's image was truly a response, it meant the experiment was over. We sent the signal, and something finally replied. And now, it's too late to take it back. As the news filtered through unofficial channels, the scientific community began to split. On one side, traditionalists insisted the structure could be explained by previously unknown interstellar dust formations or lensing effects. But others, particularly those in theoretical physics and quantum field modeling, weren't convinced. Several papers, initially uploaded to ArcSieve and mysteriously removed within hours, claimed that the data matched predicted behaviors of artificially generated quantum fields. In layman's terms, fields manipulated not by nature, but by design. These theorists proposed that Voyager had entered a controlled region of space where information itself could be shaped, redirected, even encoded visually. One physicist compared the image to a glyph, something between a symbol and a command. And then came the unthinkable suggestion. What if this was more than a reply? What if it was an invitation? Voyager's magnetometers, despite operating far past their expected lifespan, began to show data that defied understanding. The local magnetic field near the object pulsed, not randomly, but in timed intervals. Regular, predictable, like a beacon, like a heartbeat. These pulses had no terrestrial explanation and were not tied to solar activity or galactic turbulence. More disturbingly, the intervals between each pulse formed a Fibonacci progression, matching the same sequences detected visually in the object's structure. For decades, we've searched for signs of alien life in radio waves and exoplanet atmospheres. But what Voyager 2 might have just found is something far more advanced, a civilization or force that manipulates the very environment around it, leaving behind not wreckage or radio but pattern, knowing only the intelligent would see it. And we just did. As analysis deepened, a terrifying thought began to solidify, not in science journals, but in private meetings among physicists, signal analysts, and AI theorists. What if Voyager's image wasn't of an object? What if it was a reflection, not metaphorically, but literally? A dynamic, responsive distortion in space itself, like a mirror turning itself toward us the moment we looked too deeply. Some suggested Voyager hadn't captured something new, but had triggered something dormant. A mechanism, a field, a sentient surveillance system lying in wait, invisible until one of our machines finally breached the correct boundary. Not to be attacked, not to be welcomed, but simply to be seen. And now, with Voyager drifting silently into the darkness, leaving behind an image that should not exist, we may have crossed a threshold we were never meant to reach. One where the observers become the observed. For nearly half a century, Voyager 2 drifted silently through the void, carrying with it the hopes of a species too young to understand what it was truly asking. We embedded our music, our mathematics, our heartbeat into a disk of gold and launched it into the unknown, believing that maybe someday someone would find it. 
But deep down, we never truly believed they'd answer. Until now. The final image Voyager 2 captured isn't just a picture. It's a rupture. A quiet tear in our understanding of what lies beyond. A geometric echo of our own logic reflected back at us in forms too precise, too deliberate, to be chance. It's not a star, not a planet, not a comet or dust or gas. It's something else, something that thinks, that waits, that mirrors. And worst of all, something that seems to understand us. We once believed we were sending our message into the void, but Voyager's final act may have confirmed the most ancient fear buried in every myth, in every religion, in every staring eye that ever looked up at the sky. We were never alone. Not in this galaxy. Not in this dimension. Not even in our silence. And now, with a single image captured by a dying machine, that silence has been broken. The sky is no longer quiet. Because something just blinked. If this revelation shook you, if it made you question everything we thought we knew about space, time, and solitude, then don't walk away in silence. Subscribe to this channel. We follow the transmissions that others fear to acknowledge. Turn on notifications, because Voyager's final message may not be its last. Share this video with someone who still believes space is empty. Comment below, was it a reply or a test?